All right, here we go. We just swapped over to the side of the ship. We're gonna watch this pull, push off a little bit. of us here so but celebrity beyond still let's see there she is right in the corner there still tied up still doing her thing not supposed to leave till seven but we got a little bit of a rainbow off to the side behind that building so that's kind of neat still waiting on beyond uh, we do have a police boat waiting on us to go out um, like I mentioned earlier we we're supposed to leave about 4 30 today but because beyond seems to be in our way we're not leaving till seven but anyways, not a big deal. It's not gonna affect our time as far as getting to Coco Cay in time tomorrow, because it's not very far from here. But it'll be fun. It'll be interesting kind of going into some of the showers as well. We did that on Independence last month, and it was pretty cool. All right, it's almost time for Sailaways. Beyond's gonna get going in just a few minutes here. No, you're good. Oh, you're good. <laughs> no worries. So we got a little bit of rain coming in, so we might chain, or like chill underneath the lifeboats here. But beyond is starting to light up a little bit tonight. She should be getting going in just a few minutes, so hopefully the rain blows over by the time she starts leaving in the next couple minutes. So we are going to be going up that set of stairs to the helipad to watch that, because that's going to be the best view we can get of her. Okay, well we have an interesting development in tonight's Chronicles of Liberty of the Seas. Celebrity Beyond's getting ready to leave in the next 10 minutes here. It looks like we got ourselves a good old water salute for her inaugural she sailing. Her lines. And she just dropped her lines. I am so hyped. Didn't expect that, but at the same time I feel like that probably would have been common sense. So freaking cool. Water salutes are water salutes? Water salutes are the coolest things ever. I'm so excited for this.
to the side of the ship. We're gonna watch this pull, push off a little bit. Uh, we just had our last set of lines here drop. And it looks like our last lines over on this side just dropped. So, time for Liberty of the Seas to finally depart from Port Everglades. That's all for the sailaways for Liberty of the Seas. That was super, super cool. It's only, it's not even 8.30 yet, so we got plenty of the vlog left to go. What a incredible sailaway that was. Just in the room, uh, switching out some batteries. Uh, my camera died right at the very end, so at least I got the full thing. Um, but we're gonna head over to the Windjammer to get some dinner. I just, I can't get over how amazing that sailaway was. Celebrity Beyond, that was the very first time sailing out of her new home port brand new ship very first time as you saw she did a full 360 here just kind of showing herself off they had the fire tugs out there giving her the salute and everything 
what a crazy and cool experience that was seeing her for the very first time out of Fort Lauderdale. Then, of course, seeing ourselves coming out of there. That was like... It's not like it was the Oasis class coming out of here for the very first time, but like it was a little bit of a piece of like history there that we kind of saw with that, which is really neat to me. I mean, at least to me, it was pretty cool seeing the Beyond sailing out of here for the very first time. Um, but yeah, that that was super cool. I'll have a, a whole video dedicated to that because I filmed a lot more footage of it than you saw here in this vlog, so it's probably already already out. Anyways, time to go get some food. Finally getting hungry again after we had pizza a couple times already um but yeah yeah we got our battery swapped out time to go with some food stop it i don't like how you talk to me all right time for some dinner Going to the Windjammer. I love it. So similar to Independence, we have Chops Grill on one side and Giovanni's on the other. But we're not going to either one of those. We're getting some buffet food. All right, pretty basic dinner. Got some chicken tenders some french fries and even got, looks like they had like some steak tacos, so I'm gonna try that out. I got one, but it should be good. Okay, All right, dinner was pretty good. Time to head down to the gift shops. They opened up at 8.30. It is about nine o'clock right now. So we're gonna go raid the gift shops. Oh my God, this ship is empty. It's like, it's not completely empty, but like you can tell this ship has got to be about maybe 60 to 70% full. It's like, it, there's not a lot of people here. It's kind of crazy. Alright, just raided the gift shop. There really wasn't a whole lot there. There weren't ship models, which I already have the Liberty, so it wasn't a huge deal for me. Uh, but we have a Liberty of the Seas hoodie. Um, these gray hoodies that are sold on board cruise ships are the absolute best. They're the most comfortable hoodies I have ever had and owned in my life. Um, I have one of Mariner and Carnival Horizon. Love these to death, so when I saw these in the window, I had to have it. Also have a Christmas tree ornament. I have Freedom of the Seas. Um, didn't get one for Independence. Um, couldn't find them. But we got one for Liberty of the Seas now, so that's all I got. Anyways, I uh, love a good haul from the gift shops. Anyways, I think we're just going to hang out for a little bit. Not really sure what we're going to do the rest of the night. I think we're going to try to maybe catch an ice show, uh, but we shall see. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera itself or like the audio is picking it up, but those are like all the coat hangers just clanking around. I don't really... I can't really tell like what it is. I know like it seems really windy today, but it's not like it's storming out. But we are moving a lot. Like it is very rough. It's not like to the point where it's like uncomfortably like rough, but like we seem to be moving a lot more than like normal. I guess not bad, but it's definitely like something you go, wow, we're actually moving pretty, but pretty good amount. Um, so that's kind of interesting. waves against the side of the ship. Love it. Seas are very rough tonight for mostly clear weather. Very rough out. But it's not it's not bad. Oh yeah I'm sure I'm sure Coco will be alright but
that's gonna be all for today's embarkation day on board We're moving a lot <laughs> embarkation day on board liberty of the seas i love this ship so far it reminds me a lot of independence which you know if you've been following along this year we have sailed on independence many times already so i do love that ship and i love that they're so similar they are sister ships so not surprising in any sense but very much excited for that we are also now now we're sailing on freedom of the seas next year but i hope you guys enjoyed um this class of ship i was kind of like talking about it earlier like to justin and i was this class of ship like the freedom class really got me into cruising when i was very young i remember kind of like watching the whole I can't I can't think straight <laughs> I can't talk and like think straight with him hey doing man it. I'm just trying to live life look at me, look at me go <laughs> look at me go <laughs> <laughs> enough rambling on my side of things hope you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe for all the videos uh, that are coming soon we, tomorrow is Coco K we are doing the jet ski tour again we have the head straps for the GoPros we're gonna be filming that this time hopefully it's not gonna get you know very choppy out there um, and we're not gonna be able to, and hopefully it's not as bad as it is right now to where we can actually go out on the jet skis tomorrow but anyways I'll see you tomorrow bright and early in Coco K thanks for watching